Beyonce ain't trying to give back the music or nothing. Beyonce don't write music, and Betty can sing her mother. So Beyonce can't sing. I don't like Beyonce. Okay. She definitely can't I sing. I don't know why they be thinking she can sing. They just. Man, I Beyonce. watch my dog I'm a train Beyonce give her vocal lessons all her career, man. Beyonce, Beyonce can't go. All she do is holler. Listen, Beyonce is to R&B what Jay-Z is to New York. That's why they get Jay Z ain't never won the the greatest rapper alive. Yeah. Whoever whoever put him on a, a level of that, New York lost yeah. big. They needed a hero. They wanted to be the mega of, of, of hip hop, and they just handed it over to Jay Z. So let me get this straight: the United States just surpassed almost six hundred thousand people died from COVID nineteen, right? We got businesses that's closing down because they don't have employees. I went to the club last night to try to buy me a bottle of uh, Patron, my friend, my homeboy, a double shot of Remy, and they ain't have no more because they ain't got enough people that working at the shipping press to get the liquor out here, right? I'm, I'm just getting this credit. Then, January 6th, Donald Trump called the insurrection to the state capitol where they stormed, assaulted, and, and threatened lives of our people in the same country we ever died for, right? And all y'all got to do is worry about and try to assassinate my character about who I like and who I think can't see. People, really listen to yourself. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. Beyonce, the number one performer I've ever seen besides the Michael Jackson and Chris Brown. Can she sing? Yeah. She can't sing. She ain't in my top. Beyonce ain't Stephanie Mills. She ain't Patti LaBelle. She ain't Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey. She ain't the Adele, but that's my opinion. That she might be your Adele. She might be your Whitney Houston, that's my opinion. I told my homeboys, oh, Chris Brown is on the level of Michael Jackson. They like, you crazy, you disrespecting the king. La, 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 la. The Thriller album did this. I'm telling you something I feel, and I'm telling you something that Michael Jackson told Chris Brown himself. Mike was a fan of Chris Brown and told Chris Brown, I like everything you do, how you sing, how you represent, and how you perform. I'm a big fan of yours. That's huge. Keep up the work, Breezy. A lot of people don't like Drake. Do I think Drake is my favorite rapper in the world? No, everybody knows my favorite rapper is Tupac. But you gotta respect Drake because he got more hits than anybody in the history. Do we have enough Grammys, enough hard work? No. Because a lot of things go a different ways for different reasons. Now, I'm gonna tell you again. Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, Adele, Stephanie Mills, Shirley Murdoch, Betty. Right, the late great Miss Big Right. Those are my favorite singers. Those are the people I believe that are vocalists that have a strong voice and a strong thing. For y'all, for, for all y'all who think that my opinion don't matter, come get you a shot. Come get you a shot of this. He said, because you ain't gonna kill me. Don't get mad at me. I love you, T.W. I put you, you cook me collard greens, you know, chicken, even though it tastes like wood. Have you ever went over a friend's house to eat and the food just ain't no good? You see the macaroni sauce in the peas all mush and your chicken tastes like wood and cocaine because you was snorting the whole time, not washing your hands. Nigga, I didn't even want to eat nothing out your house. But I didn't tell nobody that. <laughs>